two fairly bad teams in the league, Fresno State and Hawaii, will face off this weekend. But that's exactly why I'm seeing a perfect opportunity to profit off of this shutdown. Welcome back, college football analyst Ross Benjamin. Thanks for being back with us. Uh, both of these teams are really bad on the defensive side of the ball. I could definitely see uh, this turning into a shootout all game long. The over looks great to me, considering it's only sitting at 56 and a half right now for the game. Ross, what's your top pick on this game? Well, I definitely wouldn't take the over. I'm going to steer away from the, uh, the total with all due respect, Megan. Neither one of these teams puts up any kind of consistent offensive numbers. You know, file this game under the who cares department. Really? 11 o'clock start on the East Coast? Yeah, I'm going to stay up all night till 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning to see the result of this game. And I'm sure a lot of you others who are listening will do the same. Right. Anyway, <laughs> these teams are a combined 4-15 and 15 this year. After a 2-0 and start, Hawaii's dropped seven games in a row, failed to cover six of those seven contests. And after winning their opening game against that powerhouse from Abilene Christian, and uh, Megan knows Abilene Christian very well, I'm sure. Oh, Fresno yeah. State has gone one and seven in their last eight games. Here's the the only telling difference I could see here: the Bulldogs from Fresno State, zero and four straight up in ATS on the road this season, losing by an average of 30 points per game. Hawaii only two wins this year have come at home. You can hold your nose with this one because I'm going to take Hawaii. Minus four and a half over Fresno is a very, very small lean, Megan. All right, there you have it, Ross. I'm rooting for you, but I'm not staying up to see if, if we take the win on this one. College football analyst Ross Benjamin, thanks for being back with us.